My name T Grizzly. I'm an up and coming artist. Recently signed to 300. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. I don't know why they started calling me that. I forgot who, but I know it, I had to be aggressive in there. And you know, I'm a bigger size dude, so it made sense. That's how I roll with it. After sitting down for them years, I, I got into a routine. You know what I'm saying? Once you're accustomed to something, it's like it's, some habits be hard to break. You know what I'm saying? So me just being in society, back free, back being able to do what I want to, back being able to go outside, you know what I'm saying? It was, that part was crazy. So on top of all of the love from the music, it was just, it felt like a dream for real. It was a dream to be out. So the, the music was really a dream. <laughs> I get my inspiration from situations that I made it out of. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm, I'm not even supposed to be sitting here. You know what I'm saying? I'm inspired because I'm blessed enough to be here. You know what I'm saying? So I reach back into those chapters of my life and tell the stories on what happened. Shout out to the whole Detroit. Detroit, my city, showing me a lot of love right now. Shout out to the whole Cali, LA, Bay Area. The whole Cali, they showing me a lot of love. Ohio and everybody else that supported me for real, but. The main ones, the O, Milwaukee, Detroit, and Cali, I definitely feel the love from there, and Houston. The thing that separates me is, is my writing process. I feel like my writing process put me a million miles ahead of a lot of artists, because it's like, I really don't care whether somebody like it or not. I ain't telling a story I feel like somebody want me to tell, or I ain't telling somebody else's story, I'm telling my story. You know what I'm saying, and that's my process. I'm talking about my life, putting my pain on the paper and in a booth. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that separates me because not everybody can make a conscious song, a real song, and it still be sweet. Like a like how songs be sweet and be anthems. Ain't no real life songs that give you that feel. So I feel like that made me different. One thing that changed me when I was when I was when I was locked up for like my first year. I used to have dreams that I was free, and the dreams felt so real, and it's like, but I wake up in there. You know what I'm saying? I have to go through what I gotta go through in there, calling people, people not answering. It's like, I can never come back here. When I go out there, I gotta do something, and I know what type of life I wanna live, so I gotta go hard at it, and I gotta chase my dreams. This is my dream. It ain't really just me that's, they got a stake in this. You know what I'm saying? It's like. I can't, I'm not my only motivation. I got like whole families, you know what I'm saying? Like, depending on whether I make it or not. I got people around me that really come from like nothing. So it's like, if I don't make it, don't none of us make it. I'm, only, I'm our only chance. So I gotta do it. That's all the motivation I need. My overall plan is just to be successful and be a resource to the people that really need it. You know what I'm saying? My, plan is to see the world and see what it's like to be at the top and come back and tell people about it that never thought that they'd get there. I don't know exactly who I want to be remembered for, but when I'm gone, I just want to be missed. Like, I miss Dog, like Dog was 100. I wish he was here. Like, it ain't the same without him. Like, it's a lot of different stuff that I, w that I would like to be remembered for, but I want to be really missed. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people gone that we don't even think about them no more. You know what I'm saying? I, I want to be missed. They fucking with it out here? Oh, man, do I put everybody on here? Everybody already know about it. All right. Everybody, I just heard the uh, D to the A last night. My writing process, I, I rarely write something down on paper. You know what I'm saying? I make a song, like, in my head. I go over the lyrics over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it helped me. It helped me make sure every word I say means something. Every bar is strong. You know what I'm saying? It helped me be able to say it better in the studio instead of reading it. Like, I done went over it so many times that it's locked in, I can perform it now. You feel me? That's my process. I go over it and over it again in my head when I come up with the bars. I saw, I, it's a lot of people that just can't do it. I just be like, man, they, I be playing and come up with stuff that's better than that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, let me see what it's talking about. Then when I went to the studio and heard my voice on the song, I fell in love with it. But it took for me to sit down in that cell to, find my unique self. Cause when I first started, I was trying to outdo the people around me. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to tell the story 
that I feel like everybody wanted to hear. You know what I'm saying? But once I had a chance to sit down to myself and really think and see who the real competition is, tell my story. My story outweighs a lot of what people talking about. You feel me? So. The most memorable moment was at the Joe Louis Arena. That's a that's an arena in my city. I think it's still like 20,000 people. You know what I'm saying? That's my first big stage. You got Trey Songz and Chris Brown. They doing the show there. They're like, hold on, Detroit, we got a surprise for y'all. They bring me out. You know what I'm saying? Soon as the crowd see me, soon as the beat drop, they just get to going nuts, singing word for word, everybody in my city. They went crazier for me than they did for Dog and them. You know what I'm saying? So that was the biggest moment for me. That was my first time at the Joe Louis. My first time at the arena in my city was to perform there. You know what I'm saying? That was historic for me. Just seeing people from my way fail, it gives me motivation because it's like we don't have to fail. I didn't fail. You know what I'm saying? Seeing people drop out of school that come from my situation. I didn't have to drop out, made it to college and everything, but we, we, we in the same boat, come from the same situation. You know what I'm saying? So I want to do it so bad and bring them people up so bad because the road they going down, they don't have to. You know what I'm saying? But I know what they need to hear, though, because you can't just say that to them and that's going to change anything. Because a lot of people just said that to me, but it took more than that for me to change. You know what I'm saying? So seeing the people take roles, they don't have to go down. That's what motivates me. I just say, man, be you. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be like everybody else, who going to want to be like you? You know what I'm saying? Real, outweigh fake on all scales. And I don't feel like you got to follow behind nobody, but you do have to take initiative and apply yourself. Like, you got to do something. Ain't nothing easy, but you got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you see somebody that's most successful than you, it's because they doing something that you ain't. You know what I'm saying? So... You gotta get up and set them goals. Make sure they're realistic and stay focused. Shout out to my mixtapes for the support, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Infinite love for y'all. It's T Grizzly from Detroit. Follow me on Instagram at T underscore Grizzly. T E E underscore G R I Z Z L E Y. Same thing for Twitter and Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Pop at me. I talk back.